internet peeps. Gon's here, and today we're going to check out this Noctua NHU9B Special Edition. And again, I would like to thank my friend for allowing me to borrow this to check it out. Alright, so this is a traditional cooler, uh, typical standard tower cooler, uh, shorter than other coolers in their product lineup. And for those of you who keep up with their product line, this is a bit older model, but let's go and check it out anyways. Alright, so this cooler measures in, or specifications are 125 millimeters in height, 96 by 95 in the other width and diameter. It's a bit lighter, 460 grams, and the fans are 92 millimeter size fans. So it is more compact, and you will see very shortly. Let's go pop this open. Let's check out everything first. So here is... Oh, okay, here are the fans and some mounting materials. You have your common parts, which are probably obviously the fan clips and mounting brackets, universal mounting brackets, some thermal paste, and some adapters and resistors for lower noise. I don't really see the point in most Noctua products. Here is your AMD set. Oh, and for those of you who have AMD setups, you're going to need a reverse mounting kit. Uh, you can inquire with Noctua about where to get them, but instead of having the fan mounted in a blow across direction that you see in typical setups with air heat sinks, it will be reversed going top to bottom. So if you prefer it that way, you would definitely want to contact Noctua as soon as possible. Actually, I might have already included it. Hmm. In any case, okay. Here is the Manuel. I always like this part because this has not changed from more of their recent products. You have an AMD and Intel side, which makes it very nice and easy. Good pictures as well, because we are all, all love fancy, nice, thought out pictures. Unless you're like abstract, then perfectly your deal. <laughs> okay, and this is your wrench. See, there you go. 92 millimeter fan. I would venture a guess that this is. Oh, man. here you go. Nice and tiny. Here is the Intel set of brackets. There you go. You got your universal mounting plate. Get a little bit more light on that. Your new bracket and mounting kit for Intel setups. There we go. Your other fan right there. And the heat sink itself. Got nice and easy. There you go. See it is very nice and compact. Which is good for those with more strict um, cases. In terms of their Although it is pretty fat, so I see how they got away with um, having a little bit... It's a small, stout design. So there you go, you would have your fan set up like this. Boom. And let's have a closer look. There you go, there's that side. It has four nickel-plated copper heat pipes running all the way across. Here is the surface to see any imperfections. Looks smooth to me, smoothly milled to me. There you go. And on the top, you're going to have your Noctua fin embossed on the top fin. There you go. Very nice product, easy to get around. Should be easy to install as well if it's the the way that they've been doing it forever which it has been 
And there you go. Noctua NHU9B. Uh, oh, excuse me, let me go over the fans again. This has a three pin connector, which a lot of you will probably cringe at because it's not the four pin, but as I said earlier, this is an older model. It came out a while ago, so four pin fans were not always included in the heat sinks, so for the most part, or I haven't seen as many old timey heat sinks include them, but there you go, that's what you get. And there you go. All right. The Noctua NHU9B. Hope you enjoyed this quick look and unboxing. Till the next time, guns out. Peace out. Peace out.